The Z Modeler brush contains a polygonal modeling toolset that will allow you to modify the topology of any PolyMesh 3D object without subdivisions. To access this brush, just come over to your brush menu and click, and then just locate the Z Modeler brush. Alternatively, you can hit B on your keyboard to open up the brush menu. You can isolate by the letter Z by pressing Z, and then you can finally press M to select the Z Modeler brush. With this brush selected, if you hover over your model, you'll notice that it is context sensitive. So if you hover over a point, an edge, or a poly, you'll notice that the dialog changes. Now, as you're hovering over one of these areas on your model, if you hold spacebar, you'll open up the Z Modeler menu for that area. So if I hover over a poly and press spacebar, I'm going to open up the Z Modeler poly menu. If I hover over an edge and press spacebar, I'm going to open up the edge menu for the Z Modeler. And then if I hover over a point and press spacebar, I'm going to open up the point menu. Now, the Z Modeler brush works on a series of actions and targets. So right now, if I hover over this poly, it's set to QMesh a poly. If I press spacebar, you can see that I have the actions up top and I have QMesh selected. I have a target, which is a single poly. And then down here, I have modifiers that correspond to the actual action. After you have one of these values set by pressing spacebar, selecting an action and a target, to apply this to your actual model, you just need to click and drag. So as I hovered over the poly here, you can see it's set to QMesh a poly. So if I click and drag, that QMesh action will be performed. If I undo this and then say hover over an edge, you can see it's set to insert edge loop. So hovering over, then clicking, will allow me to insert an edge on the actual model there. So as you work, you can change these actions and targets on the fly. So if I do not want to perform a QMesh action on this poly here, I can simply press spacebar and say I want to perform a move action. I can come and select move. And now when I hover over this poly, you'll see it tells me I can move a poly. And now clicking and dragging will perform that move action. So with this system of actions and targets, you can quickly come through and start modifying the geometry on your meshes to create interesting shapes and forms.